Hey, welcome back. Brian Kester from the Greenlee Training Center in Rockford, Illinois. Today's electrical shorts, how do I pick out the right fish tape for the job that I'm doing? We have multiple fish tapes available. We have the old platform with the handles. We also have the new Real X. But I have steel, stainless steel. I have nylon, I have fiberglass, I have flex. What is the right fish tape to use? Steel and stainless steel is always going to be used on empty, brand new cable installations. And you always have to know the length of the conduit run because I sell these in multiple lengths, anywhere from 125 to 200 plus feet. Take a look at the steel in the Real X. All of my fish tapes are gonna have a special bent end on it so they don't get caught on the edge of the conduit. But steel is always going to be brand new installations on empty conduit. We also have stainless steel. The stainless steel is always gonna come with a flex leader on it. That stainless steel does not have oil on it. If you're doing any residential work that you don't wanna leave skid marks on the carpet, the furniture, things like that, stainless steel is a very nice opportunity, but it is also non-corrosive. We also have digital laser marked. As we pull that out, there is going to be digital markings or etching into that fish tape so that you can see the distance. But every foot and meter, I have markings to show you the length of the conduit run. Now you know how much cable to buy if you don't know how long the conduit run is. So then why fiberglass and why nylon? That becomes a choice. Fiberglass and nylon are both non-conductive. They are going to protect the operator from any circuits that may have live wires in them. We always tell people not to fish through live wires, but if you need to, we know that the fiberglass and the nylon are non-conductive. You are always going to use your fiberglass and your nylon in existing circuits. One, you're going to notice that the fiberglass has a very low memory of the case diameter. That means I can put it through larger diameter conduit and it's not gonna coil up on the inside. And it's gonna be easier for the operator to use. Nylon has a very strong memory of the case size. If I start using nylon in a large diameter conduit, it may start to coil up on the inside of that conduit and make it a harder job for the operator. Thanks for being here. Hope you appreciated the electrical shorts for today. We'll see you soon.